I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on factoring. We will consider the strategy to factor trinomials in this particular video. So we have taken two very similar trinomials. One of them is 12x square plus 19x minus 21. The other one is 12x square plus 22x minus 14. Let's rewrite them. So we are working with 12x square plus 19x minus 21 as first poly trinomial. The second one is 12x square plus 19x, uh, 22x, rather, sorry, 22x minus 14. Right. So that is the second trinomial. We need to factor them. So when we are trying to factor them, what we are looking for a set of two numbers whose product is product of these two, right? So what are we looking for is product P and Q, which should be 12 times 21, right? Since this is negative, negative. And we're also looking for sum of P and Q should be 19, right? Positive 19. That's the whole idea. So how do we get that combination? That is a big question, right? In this case, we want product of the two numbers to be minus 12 times 14. That's a big number. And the sum should be 22 positive, right? How do we get this no these numbers? That is the major thing. Now here is a strategy. So let's look into the strategy. We'll talk about strategy in this area. Now let me divide the space for these two. So the first one, we're looking for product to be minus 12 times 21, correct? Now if I write down their factors, in that case, we'll always get what we need, right? So for example, 21 could be factored as 7 and 3, right? And as far as 12 is concerned, we could factor this as 3 and 4. Now, when you multiply these numbers, you'll always get the product. So that part is clear. Now, we have to only think about the sum of 19. So, of course, big numbers are positive and the small number we have to take as negative, right? So how do I get 19? So we know 7 times 4 is 28, right? 28. Now if I take minus 9, I do get 19, right? So I have two sets here very clearly. So one set will be 7 and 4, 28, and the other one will be formed over these numbers. And of course we have to put negative to get the product as negative, right? Since one of the numbers should be negative. It does make sense to you. So that gives you the required number set. So we can now divide this 19 as a combination of 28 minus 9, right? So, so we could write this trinomial as 12x squared plus 28x minus 9x minus 21. Does it make sense to you, right? Now you can combine the first two terms, write what is common factor between these two and these two terms, right? So here we see that 4 is common, 4x. So we have 4x here, we have 3x, that is 4 times 3, and 7 times 4 is 28, so plus 7, minus, in this case, 3 is common, correct? So we'll take 3 common, so we get 3x. We have already taken minus, so we get plus 7 here also. Now 3x plus 7 is a common factor, and we get 4x minus 3 as a result. Do you see that part? So that is how you could factor this. So I was emphasizing on this particular strategy. So factoring the terms rather than multiplying and then figuring out is actually simpler, right? Now let's look into the second case. In this case, again, we have purposely taken the similar values. We have 12 
and this time it is minus 14, right? So again, 14 could be written as 7 times 2, 12 can be written as 3 times 4, and you can see the combination. 4 times 7 is 28, and if I take that as positive, we need 22, right? And we take away this value with a negative 3, for example, or negative 2 for that matter, we get our answer, right? So, so what we have here is 28 minus 3 times 2, 6. That gives you what is required, which is 22. Clear? And therefore, we can actually write the part B, this is part B, as what? We can write this as 12x square and 22 I'll write as plus 28x minus 6x minus 14, right? Now what is common between these two? We can take 4 common here, so we get 4x common and here we get 3x plus 7. In this case we have 2 common, so we get 3x plus 7 here also. Now 3x plus 7 is common and we have 4x minus 2. Now within 4x minus 2, I could take 2 common, right? So I could write 2 times 3x plus 7 times 2x minus 1 as fully factored form, correct? Now you must have noticed that 2 actually was a common factor also, right? So to begin with, we could have taken 2 as a common factor and then come to this result. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.